Jeremiah 43 verse 7 says, So they went to the land of Egypt, for they did not obey the voice of the Lord. They went where? This can't be right. God had rescued his people out of Egypt, the land of slavery, and brought them into the promised land, the land of freedom, flowing with milk and honey. And now they were leaving the promised land by their own choice and against God's word and going back to the land of slavery. Their decision to walk back to Egypt was astounding. It's the sad and tragic history of the people of God who had once lived in the presence of God, giving it up to return to slavery. Egypt was a place of such unbearable bondage that scripture often uses it as a picture of the old life in the flesh, the life of bondage to sin. And it's always hard to watch individuals who were freed from sin turn around and go right back into the bondage that God delivered them from. Niagara Falls holds a great danger for birds that swoop down to snatch a drink from its clear waters. As they come down for a drink, tiny droplets of spray form ice on their wings. And as they return again and again, more ice forms, and it weighs their bodies down until they plummet to their deaths. That's exactly how sin works in our lives. We go for just a little bit, but sin accumulates as we go back again and again, and all of a sudden we find ourselves in a downward spiral. As we consider Jeremiah 43 today, I'm asking the Lord to help us not to take the freedom He's provided lightly. Lord, help us to break free from the bondage of sin today and every day.